Hi, my name is Greg Justice from AYC Health and Fitness, Kansas City's original personal fitness training center. And I'm here with Lynn Reynolds today from Endless Rope, and he's gonna introduce this amazing fitness equipment to us today. Greg, let's go ahead and get started. Come on in. I want you to hit that red button right there, and we're gonna go ahead and bring the dials up. So go ahead and start moving the rope a little bit with your hands. I just want to give you a little bit there. Okay, we got speed, distance, and time. We're measuring your speed in feet per minute. We got the distance in feet and time. If you go ahead and stop right there, it's gonna hold your distance in time for one minute and then go to zero. So go ahead and start that again. So I want you to think about a walk, a jog, a run, sprint. Right now you're just kind of walking and I want you to try to bring this speed up another 100 feet a minute. There you go, good. Now you're, now you're running a little bit more. Okay, now see if, how quick we can make it. Oh yeah, 560, 590, that's excellent, good. Okay, now stop for a second. See how you missed that? Okay. One of the things that's interesting and unique about this is the hand-eye coordination that's got to be there. Most machines you're going to grab and hang on to. On this one, you're going to release and then reacquire in space and time, which is unusual. So now we've got a different engagement. Yes. So I want you to take that valve right there. It's a hydraulic system. Turn it one turn clockwise until the red comes around. There you go. Now see if you can hit 500 again. Oh yeah, there we go, 300. Let's do another turn before you wear out. Here we go. There you go. So that's two turns on a four turn valve. Go ahead and pull. And you can stop that valve anywhere you want, but you notice this, your hand speed is coming down. So we're measuring hand speed. Right. Go ahead and do that again, turn it again. So this will be three turns on a four turn valve. Go ahead and pull. Now you notice we're really getting into strength. We're starting to really challenge the core. And you feel that core engagement yes, just definitely. as soon as you pull. We got one more turn there. Okay, now you're pulling. Oh yeah, so the thing that really makes this fun is that this is actually a climbing machine. So you're in good shape. So I'm gonna trust you today. Now okay. this isn't something that we would normally teach first time out without a box behind you to sit on. Right. We always use a box in training. But I'm gonna challenge you to put one foot up there on the left, and then you're gonna straddle that rope, put one foot on the right, and you're gonna climb, actually. There we go. Now go ahead and start moving those hands. Excellent. Good, 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 nice, good. That's it, you got it. Breathe, don't hold your breath. Good, now can you pick yourself up a little higher? There you go, right in there. And pike your hip a little more. That's gonna be a little bit more of the classic climbing style. Okay, go ahead and bring your foot down. There you go, excellent. So, you feel that. I feel that. So when you did that layback, that would be more of the class line, like what a wrestler's gonna do when they're grabbing right, right. and pulling down. So this has a lot of MMA, a lot of wrestling and jujitsu um, applications. Also rock climbing, the rock climbers are gonna lay back and, and when they're bouldering and doing stuff, they're gonna lay back and do that body roll as opposed to that classic rope climbing. So you can do either one of those positions on that. But let's go ahead and lighten this up all the way. Nice, okay. so. I want you to hit that mode button one time, and I want you to scroll up, and I want you to, let's do 150 feet. We'll, I'll be real nice to you today. You can hold it, it'll scroll. What we're gonna do, you're, the idea is to do this as fast as you can. So okay. we're actually gonna sprint. Long is better than short, so you think about a stutter step right, when you're right. sprinting. And then down the middle is better than side to side. You don't wanna be all yes. over the lane, right? When you're ready, reach high, three, two, one, and go. There you go, faster. Change those hands quicker, change the hands. Get the hand up there quick. There you go, now you're getting, there you go. Now you got a stride going, good, good. 580, 540, 560, good. Nice hand speed, Greg, good. Breathe, breathe, steady and smooth. You got about 60, 50, 50 feet, good. 40 feet to go, 30, don't hold your breath. 20, 10, and you're home, Woo! good. So your hand speed, your average hand speed was 480. So why does that matter? for practical applications mm -hmm. in any sports that's handling a ball. Think about velocity. Yes. So if, I, if my hand speed is 480, that ball is going to go X. If my hand speed is 600, it's gonna be traveling a lot further. So hand speed is really gonna matter in ball handling. Also, when you think about this, you were thinking about pulling down. Yes. But at 480, you were pulling down an average of 480, but that means you were actually lifting up at the same time. And so imagine basketball, volleyball, anybody, gotta get in front of that right, ball quicker. Right. So what does that hand speed mean? So if you can get that average of 480 up to 520, 550, 600 feet on the average, 
what does that mean for your capacity in that particular domain? So de depending on what you're, but what are you feeling right now? I'm feeling very cardiovascularly challenged. <laughs> okay. I'm a bit out of breath. As a trainer, yes. when you're looking for maximum adaptation, you know that, that the intensity is really what's gonna get the hormone response, yes. right? Okay, so you just got a hit. Yes, I did get a hit. You, you got a hit. You hit and me so, good. <laughs> yeah, but at what point did you feel unsafe? I never felt unsafe at all. Even when you missed the rope. Now, so if you were running and you tripped and fell, that would hurt, right? It would, If indeed. I tried to get you to sprint running. Would you say, as somebody that's experienced sprinting, would you say that what you're feeling right now is similar to sprinting? Absolutely. It's basically you sprinted with mm -hmm. your upper body. Upper body instead of the and, lower body. Right. Yeah. And so when you think in terms of training, as people are aging and bad ankles, knees, mm -hmm. hips, you know, low back problems, right. upper back problems, any of that, while every time you pull down on that rope, we were actually stretching the spine out instead of compressing. Instead of compressing, right. And that alone is incredibly valuable. Yeah. But when you think about the safety of achieving this physical state mm -hmm. that you just did in what, 30 seconds? Yeah. I mean, that is applicable across any domain of, of sports and activity, so. And it translates from everything from the beginner all the way to the world-class athlete yeah. too, and that's what I love about it. No, you could have a three-year-old pulling on this rope yes. and you can have a 90-year-old pulling on the rope and just walking along. So. Indeed. Excellent. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Appreciate the time.